Oh my gosh, you need to see this movie. I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So guys, when I was a kid, I loved The Jungle Book. It was one of my favorite cartoons coming up as a child. Now, when they were making the live action reboot and they said that Jon Favreau is going to direct, I was excited. I just knew that this was going to be good. And guys, I was right. My expectations for The Jungle Book was extremely high. And my expectations were met and it just makes me so happy and I cannot recommend this film anymore and I have no idea how they made this film I mean I have an idea but when you know how they made it it's like it's spectacular it my it's freaking mind-blowing and I hate saying things like that like that's freaking mind-blowing but it really is freaking mind-blowing because the only thing in this movie that is real is the little boy the boy that plays Mowgli this whole movie was shot in downtown Los Angeles on a soundstage with nothing but green screen. Nothing is real. The plants aren't real. The water isn't real. The animals aren't real. The trees, nothing is real except for the little boy and it looked so real. Well, let me let me pump, pump the brakes real quick. Like Baloo the bear, voiced by Bill Murray, he didn't look real, but he didn't look fake either. I mean, there were some things where, okay, it, you can tell it wasn't real, but it didn't look bad and it still just like blew your mind. It's like, wow, how did they do that? And yes, I did see it in 3D and I'm not the biggest fan of 3D, but when they had the 3D, the, the, the objects were popping. There was depth. There was greatness. Let me just slow down and just talk about the director, John Favreau, because he is one of my favorite directors in the game right now. He directed Iron Man. He also directed Zathura. He did Cowboys and Aliens that came out a few years ago, but I'm just not a fan of that. He also did Chef. This guy is a true talent. He is an actor and director. And I know that majority of this film as to why it was good was because of him. And I just want to praise Mr. John Favreau for giving us such a fantastic movie. But if you're familiar with The Jungle Book, it's a straight adaptation of the old book and or, well, yeah, it's based off a book. But I never read the book. I saw the cartoon as a child, and it's just based off that Mowgli, a little Indian boy living in the jungle. And that boy, I did not look up his name, but he is fantastic. I mean, his acting was on point. I mean, oh my gosh, this little boy is going to get a lot of attention come the end of the year, Oscar season. He's not going to win, possibly, but he does, love, he does deserve recognition because he did a great job. And when you think about it, and with his acting... He couldn't act against anything because the animals aren't there. I mean, he had to act with nothing. And just the way he's interacting with nothing made you feel like there was something really there with the allies and he's hugging animals and whatnot. I mean, it was just a great treat, a great visual treat. It was funny. It was clever. It was also not necessarily for children because these animals, some of them seem kind of scary. And when they were fighting, I mean, these animals were actually squabbing, like trying to kill each other at points, you know? And it was one character death that they kind of did some fancy camera work because they didn't want it to be too graphic. But I was really surprised. I mean, like, this movie is PG-13, so, you know, you're not going to see blood and guts everywhere and just, ah, tigers and stuff ripping guts out. And No, no, no. It's nothing like that. But there is still some nice, intense fighting in this movie that I had no idea was going to be involved and they did a great job there the voice casting by everybody was just spectacular i love ben uh, sir ben keithley as bagheera the black panther just and the mannerisms with that animal was just beautiful i love bill murray as baloo i was singing along when he was making his songs i love christopher walking as king louis i mean the casting choices for these the, these voices could not have been any more perfect I also like Scarlett Johansson as the big snake Ka. I mean, she did a great job as well, even though her role was slightly bleak, brief, but that is not a knock. But my most favorite character goes to the voice of uh, Idris Elba with uh, Shere Khan the Tiger. Man, he did a great job there. That tiger was fierce. Uh, he was a force not to be reckoned with. I mean, he was kind of scary. This lady that was sitting to my right, I didn't know her, of course, but there was a few times she kept jumping in her seat like this because stuff was popping out of her involving Shere Khan and Tiger. And, it, you know, it was just great. I mean, I uh, it, it, this movie is, oh, I want to give it a 10 so bad, but there was just one little scene that I really just didn't care for where I thought Mowgli was being a little emotional and just kind of ran off 
Oh my God, why did you communicate? But other than that, I mean, this film is freaking flawless and I loved it and I cannot wait till this comes out on Blu-ray so I can watch all the special features so I can see all the behind the scenes and listen to the commentary. I cannot wait to see this again in theaters. I, I'm willing to give my money to see this film again and again because it is just that great. I mean, the little boy was great. The effects were great. The acting was great. Everything was great in this film. And so if I had to rate it out of a 1 out of 10, I give The Jungle Book, directed by John Favreau, a 9.75 out of 10. Gosh, I want to give it a 10 so bad, but that one little scene kind of like, what is going on? But a 9.75 out of 10. And guys, that's just my opinion. So have you seen The Jungle Book? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can become one of my subscribers and get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. And if you'd like to find me on any other platforms, you can at Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at just my opinion 84 And excuse me, that's actually facebook.com slash just my opinion. Or you can head over to the website. So guys, thank you for tuning in for my opinion slash review on the Jungle Book. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.